Flying private is expensive, but the planet pays a heavier price. The Emissions Equation In 2022, commercial flights released 800 million metric tons of CO2, carrying over 850 million people. That's less than one ton per person per flight. Now compare that to private jets. With just a few passengers on board, they emit 10 to 20 times more CO2 per person. In fact, in 2023, the top 10 private jet users in the U.S. produced more emissions than 6,500 average Americans combined. And the gap keeps growing. The wealthiest 1% of flyers are responsible for nearly half of all aviation emissions. A glimmer of hope, sustainable aviation fuel, SAF. Unlike traditional jet fuel made from fossil fuels, SAFs are brewed from waste oil, corn, algae, and other renewables. Yes, they still emit CO2, but the raw materials used pull carbon out of the atmosphere, which can reduce net emissions by up to 86%. In theory, a full switch to SAF could cut aviation's carbon footprint by 94%. Here's the catch. SAF are expensive, up to three times the cost of regular fuel. There's not enough raw material yet to go mainstream. Airlines are hesitant. If they pass the cost to flyers, ticket prices could skyrocket. The power of the ultra-rich. Governments are trying to help. The U.S. offers tax credits for SAF producers. The EU is aiming for 6% SAF usage by 2030. But you know who could really move the needle? Private jet owners. They're already spending six figures per flight. Adding a few extra thousand for sustainable fuel wouldn't make a dent. If they adopt SAF at scale, it could boost production, cut costs, and make greener flying accessible for everyone else. A rare moment where extreme wealth could accidentally help save the planet. Of course, cleaner travel isn't just for the skies. Electric cars and hybrids are quietly changing the game on the ground, too. Curious about the most fuel-efficient rides in 2025? Let's know in the comments section.